Hercules world today and uh e. I've grinded to about level 34. I guess I forgot that I created a room right before the fight, and I didn't clear it out. Should be able to fight Hades, yeah, because it's just boss fights. Fights are over quicker, but damn, is it tense. But who can't take a hit?
hopefully I get to fight an organization member after this, because I didn't fight a single one last night. I think. I think I only fought the copy Riku and then saw him get mind break. Because I fought Vex in the day before yesterday? Is that right? I think that's right. You're fucking kidding me. Why so glum, Namine? Is there something that's been troubling you? Are you feeling awful about tinkering with Sora's memory? Or maybe you... Cut it out, Larkseen. Namine? She doesn't want to remember Sora. Is that so? Don't worry. Whatever's hurting you, I'll make it go away. I swear it on this. The good luck charm you gave me. See ya. Fucking idiot. That's just amazing. It's almost like you completely made his heart from scratch. Nice touch with the good luck charm. I didn't know you could use memories to transform objects like cards into keepsakes. You used the same trick on Sora, right? You changed Kairi's good luck charm with your magic, didn't you? <laughs> It won't be long before Sora forgets about Kyrie completely, and then he'll That's be sad. all yours. Nope. To uh, go I got forget. people watching my stream. Huh? I better open up my chat. No matter how much I change his memory, Sora will never forget Kyrie. Memories of me, more false memories of me, will just make his feelings for Kyrie even stronger than before. Because I'm the shadow of Kyrie. Oh, so she knows. What's oh, Sean's problem watching with that? me. That Hello, Sean. Be your incentive not to screw anything up. Just do a good job rewriting Sora's heart. Then you can actually be somebody and no longer just Kyrie's shadow. You'll be real in Sora's heart. Sean, I sent you an invite. If you want to accept it, I can send you another one. There's another one. Oh, you were, <laughs> I sent you an invite, and then I saw that I had people watching my stream, and I was like, Sean's in my fucking stream. I'm like, Sean, I sent you an invite, I'll send you another one. I was pooping. One. I was pooping. <laughs> I oh. can't join a party if I'm pooping. I don't know how long I'm going to be on. Oh, I'm not going to be on for very long either. And it's just, it's not shit of like me being like, oh, I got stuff to do. It's things like, I might get a text from someone again. What does that mean? I have spent the past four nights at Aubrey's. <laughs> Just bang already and get it over with. Viva of cry. Well, it's less about wanting to fuck. With you, I believe that. With her, I don't know. Well, with her, yes, because we talked about it. <laughs> because one of her friends said the exact same thing that you did. <laughs> she was texting one of her friends, and and, and she was like, "Yeah, he's he's staying over again." And <laughs> her friend goes, "Jesus Christ, just fuck already." <laughs> yeah, you fucking. Kiddos. She was just like, that's not exactly what we're shooting for here. 
just shoot it off in there and then fucking call it. That's the kind of shooting I'm expecting from this shit. That's the kind of shooting I'm hoping. Uh, by the way, my spring break got extended mm. another week. Oh, fuck. And all of my classes are being moved online. Ah, fuck. Don't tell me this shit, because then mine will probably do it. Corvid-19, Corvid-19. All the Mexicans are buying the toilet paper, and I'm just like, mm, I'm gonna go shit on their houses. Why are they, they buying all the toilet, toilet paper? I don't know, it's dumb as fuck. It's funny because Aubrey was like, apparently there's a fuck ton of people buying toilet paper. And... Aubrey was just like, should we go TP someone's house with the toilet paper that we have just to show off? <laughs> See, I, I just turned to my grandma and I'm like, I, you know, I thought it was dumb when they were buying all the fucking Germax, because then that's just gonna make shit worse if you buy it all, because then no one else is gonna get it. Yeah. Fucking thing doesn't make any. But now sense. it's like, now it's like, think of all the people who are gonna have to shit now, and then they're gonna have it on their hands. They won't be able to clean properly. Like, you're talking about some dumb shit coming. And then Luis was like, Luis messaged me today and sent me the dumbest fucking thing I've seen in a while. It's like, let me know how this epidemic has affected you. And I'm like, I'll fucking kill you. Oh my god. Let me know how this epidemic has affected you. Uh, they bought all the fucking toilet paper. I was gonna say something about Mexicans, but I realized he was Mexican. I can't wipe my ass. I can't wipe my ass. I'm gonna shit on all their houses and their doorknobs. That's to what's gonna happen hands. is th this this fucking uh, outbreak is gonna go down in history as the outbreak in which people couldn't wipe their ass. <laughs> You're gonna go back to like the olden times where you just dump shit in the streets. It's gonna be the Black Plague. God, I fucking hope so. I hope the fuckers that bought the toilet paper die first. They will. I'll make sure of it. Fuckers. Fucker. <laughs> I've got a shit. Like, you literally. Grandma. My grandma's <laughs> buying my all grandma the toilet goes, paper. My grandma goes. I don't know what it what the deal is with, but the Mexicans are buying all the toilet paper at the store, and I'm like, that's fucking retarded. And then she goes, yeah, your store, you're gonna have a hell of a work time tonight. And I'm like, why? She's like, there are uh, like. 40 vehicles filled with Mexicans to the brim who have been buying carts filled with shit like they're preparing for the end times and I'm like I hope they die Mexicans. Oh my god. And I and I'm just like this this, this is dumb. Like this 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 is fucking stupid. Oh. Oh, here it comes. Here what comes? I can fucking sense it. Hold on. Sean, I took a note out of your people's playbook and blew someone the fuck up. I appreciate I'm gonna, you. I'm gonna move uh, this shit for all it's worth. I just, I I just want you to know that. I appreciate you using uh, my culture. 
in your daily routine. <laughs> Thank you for this uh, totally not offensive cultural appropriation. Thanks for respecting my kind. <laughs> Thank you for this t <laughs> not cultural appropriation. <laughs> Wait, does that mean that all the Americans would have blown shit up? Like the Oklahoma City bombing and stuff? They, they were just culturally appropriating shit? Dude, I can't blow shit up, that's what I do. That is now the play. Can't blow okay, shit so up, what's that's the deal with So what's the deal with Aubrey? Was Aubrey the one with the fucking dumbass boyfriend that was like 30 fucking years old? Or is Aubrey the one that fucked you over and admitted to it? Uh, that would be both. But... Uh, we're kinda... She's talking to people and we're kinda talking through it. And if she fucks you over this time? I don't know. Just, just, just trying to let you know, like, that, like, what are your contingencies? That she's still a cunt. The winter contingency. Good. We'll glass everything and kill her family. And then blame it on aliens. Preferably Mexicans. I can do that. No, it's... I like being Spanish. I like being Spanish. It's, it's my favorite thing in the world, because both white people and Mexicans are fucking retarded half the time, and they're like, we don't know the difference, and I'm like, well, if you don't know the difference, I'm gonna fucking milk this for all it's worth. So I'll sit there, like, oh my god, it's so fucking great. There, there, there are like no fucking stereotypes I can think of for Spanish people, but like, oh, Mexicans? Yeah. They are just filled with stereotypes for a reason. Like that Mexican mom that's batshit crazy, she exists everywhere. You know, it's funny because people are always like, that's a stereotype, and I'm like, it's, some of these are true. Stereotypes were like in the 1940s and 50s when they were just trying to find excuses to literally kill every race. That I understand. Stereotypes now are like, we're pointing out problems or like dumb things in people's fucking culture. And people are like, those are stereotypes. They're like, no, those are things you refuse to acknowledge. What you call stereotypes, I call real. I call factual. It's like, white people, yeah. There's kind of a, a lot of stereotypes with white people. For a reason. Yeah. But same with Mexicans. I feel like, like, even black people have stereotypes, but if you point those out, everybody's gonna claim racist shit. Yeah. You know stereotypes exist when the fucking kids of that race point them out. Yeah. And then that is the reason I'm like, Mexican stereotypes exist. Mexican stereotypes are so fucking bad that when I was in Ulysses, the fucking children that hated the stereotypes so much and hated the fact that like their families were fucking Catholic and pulled these awful fucking things, literally yeah. went against the religion. So there was an entire generation of kids against the Catholic Church in fucking Ulysses because of how their parents and the church treated them. And I'm like, well, thanks God. There, there are entire groups of kids that, like, moved out of their fucking house to get away from that shit. And I'm like, hmm. Hmm. Those aren't stereotypes at all. That's gay. Big gay. Big gay. What does he have? Oh, don't worry, Chief. He caught the big gay. Even the big gay down in Zimbabwe. Oh my god. Zimbabwe got the big gay. Do you think if people in Africa are gay that they get killed and eaten? What? <laughs> I say this. I say this because apparently one of my family members met like one of the African tribes that's still a little backwards.
Mm -hmm. And they still offer, like, animals to marry daughters and shit. And I was oh. like, okay. Uh, he right. said that he went to eat with a tribe, and they were eating one of the dudes who offered the tribe leader's daughter goats, but didn't offer enough. Take this. Yeah. Your Majesty, come on. Time's up. Yeah. So apparently, is, you better offer shit right, or you're gonna be the there reason dinner delight. Why I do not want to go to Africa. Take this. It's because that shit is scary. Yeah. Well, it's not like that everywhere. Cause, like the stereotype I know, but that, like, like African villages are savages, but there are still some that are kind of back ass backwards. I mean, that picture from Nat Geo, where there's that village of women that are just walking around topless, that's a thing! Yeah. That kid's probably jerked off, dude. It's a thing. I doubt it. You. You. Wait, are you saying EU or you? You. 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 Me? Like you. Yes, you. I didn't do it. It's like, you know that by personal experience. I I like black women, don't get me wrong, but when I was a kid, that had not developed yet. I'm not saying you had to be a kid, all I'm saying is like, you remembered it and were like... <laughs> That's a different story. <laughs> Now that, that thing that you're talking about right there, now we're talking. <laughs> now you're speaking my language. <laughs> Bless the rains down in Africa. Oh my god. There's nothing that a hundred men or more could ever do. <laughs> I, I want to marry, like, the perfect woman to me is, like, literally just a black Jew. Like, that, that is, that is the perfect thing. And people can judge me for that, but, like, that shit's hot. I'm not judging you for it, it's just, what are the odds? I've met a few. So, in rural areas, not very high, but in, like, in politics, it's probably That's what I mean. I know it's not impossible, but just odds. It's there, it exists, and I want it. It's there, it exists, and I want it. <laughs> probably not the best way to describe that, but I don't fucking care. It's there, it exists, and I want it. Jesus Christ. Dude, there's there's been like a lot of like so you know I told you like a bunch of black people from Miami moved down here and shit yeah and, like a lot of them kind of trashy but like there are some of them that are like well dressed and well kept and I'm like mmm honor sorry. I think if you're trashy, no matter what race you are, it's gross. But I think, I think when you're refined and you're like, dignified and you're like, oh, oh, don't you? But if you're also I like Jewish, how you snuck oh. in. I like how you snuck in and you're black. <laughs> like, I, you just I tried real dating white girls. I tried snuck that. I tried dating white girls. I tried dating Mexicans. That shit ended horribly. That's they were both. Uh, whenever it got to the point where like I had to meet their parents, the parents never liked me. Yeah. So like the white people were like, we don't like our daughter trying to get with a brown dude. I'm like, my name is Hunter Brett, and then Martinez. Like, I'm sorry. Like, yeah, I'm definitely Spanish still Mexican in Spanish culture. And I'm like, I'm like, it's Spanish. It's just a common name. That's the problem. And I'm like. Yeah. I'm like, but the fact that I have to defend that is fucking stupid, so I got tired of the Oh, yeah. 
So I started dating I started dating Mexican girls and I'm like, you know, maybe this isn't so bad. Maybe maybe they can relate. And then the Mexican girls families when they introduced me were like, You're not brown enough, you don't embody the culture, get the fuck out of here. You're fucking and like, caught in the middle <laughs> I'm like, nobody loves me. <laughs> It, it's basically, it got to the point where it was so bad I got in a relationship with this one girl who was like super quiet and cute and dodge. I think, I think I told you about this, but like, her parent, she was the one that basically like wanted to go out and had interest in the beginning and then she pulled the whole like, I like going out on dates but I don't want to date you because her parents apparently told her that they didn't appreciate it or whatever. Yeah. And she ended up getting with like a 30 year old dude, and I'm just like, what the fuck? Ah, yes, because that is better than me. A 30 year old dude who didn't even finish high school, my like Oof. Oof. So in the Mexican community, you're a fucking valiant hero. I'm sorry, but like that shit, I know that they're like a little backwards, but like Mexicans are like in the 19. Mexicans are like 1950s whites. Hmm. They're like, the men gotta work. Till they die. No school for you. Men gotta work till they and die. Then sometimes they're like, the women should stay at home. No school for you. The men have to work till they die. <laughs> How many old Mexican dudes do you see still fucking working and never fucking retiring? Trust me, it's there. They don't retire, they just die slowly. Never heard a statement like that before. They don't retire, they just die. It now. Some some older Mexican dudes are fucking nasty. I, I, when I worked fucking seaboard, dude, like it was like these fifty-year-old dudes who should probably have started to get over their sex lives. No, nope. <laughs> they didn't understand English, but they tried, and I appreciated that because they were the only ones I've ever met that actually fucking did. Yeah. Um. So I got stuck in a fucking barn because uh, one of the feed barns. For uh, Sal's, but I told them I'm like my last name might be Martinez, but I can't speak Spanish. Don't put me in an all Spanish speaking one, and they did it anyway. <laughs> and I was like, mm, fuck you. So when I started working there, these I worked with two Mexican dudes and then like three Mexican women that like none of them could really speak. English. Fuck. Um, and the Mexican dudes one day tried to ask me if I, like, I guess one day one of them, the one that's so fucking bad at English, he literally doesn't even try, uh, he, he goes, but he, he attempts to make gestures and stuff, he go he yeah. tries to ask me if I can put it, but instead he just makes the mouth gesture while he says it in Spanish. Yeah. And I was like, oh, that's fucking gross, dude. And he's like, well, do you? And then he like starts describing all the shit he does. And I'm like, you're fucking 55 years old, you old codger. That's some sick shit. It's like two mummies fucking falling apart. Don't tell me I'm wrong, you know I'm right. Yeah. All right. I'll be in there in a second.
Boom. Spugenti. 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 I just want you to know, like, if this shit goes bad, at least get your dick in That's gonna be difficult. If you have to roof here and Bill Cosby it, I won't. No, I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm not just kidding. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> you know that was funny. Respect my humor for it. Is... Oh my god. Fuck. Looking for an ambulance. No. Uh. All right, I'm gonna go eat some spagunti. I will see you later. If right. I'm back in a little bit, I might. You might still be here. If I'm not, I'm not. I'm just going to end my stream. Okay. <laughs>